Hello everyone, Dr. Hasbullah here and now let's carry on with our manometer example. Okay, so what I have here is I have water and then I'm going to tap it here. And then this goes down and then it goes further up. Goes over there. until it reaches another container or another pipe okay all right so this is what your manometer looks like and now the levels are here because we are using different fluids okay so i'm gonna label it using different color now this is going to be water it's in blue and then i'm gonna use red as fluid number one and then I'm gonna use orange as oil and I'm gonna use pink for air okay and first thing that we need to do is that we need to label this so this is one two three four and five and then we also know the distance okay so the distance between one to one is 250 millimeter okay uh, the difference between three to one is 25 millimeter this distance is 150 millimeter and we also need to know the density of each of the fluid okay obviously we know water the density is 1000 kilogram per meter cube and the density of this fluid is given in terms of specific gravity which is 1.6 okay and the density of oil is also given in terms of specific gravity which is sg oil equal to 0 0.9 and for air just for the sake of simplicity the specific gravity is given to be zero. The reason why the specific gravity of air is given zero, even though the density of air is about 1.2 kilogram per meter cube, the reason is because compared to the density of water, the density of air is very small. So even though if you neglect it, the difference in the result, whether or not you include it, will be negligible. So that's why for the sake of simplicity for this time, we're going to assume that SG of A is equal to 0. And you already know from our previous video is that specific gravity is equal to the density of the fluid divided by the density of water. So let's say the specific gravity of oil is 0 0.9. You know that the density of oil is 900 kilogram per meter cube. And the density of this whatever fluid it is, is 1600 kilogram per meter cube. Is that simple okay so now what we need to know is what is the pressure difference between 0.1 and 0.5 so we are looking for p1 minus p5 what is the difference so that is what we are looking for okay so in this case it's up to you whether to start from the left or to start from the right as long as you understand that if we go downward then we add the pressure if we go upward then we minus the pressure Okay, so let's start from the left, so because it seems logical to do so. So P1, now first of all, this goes down. Okay, so this goes down 250 millimeter. Okay, so this will be P1 plus rho water G times H is 0.25. Okay, because 250 millimeter is 0 0.25 meter. And what happens next is that we go upward. Okay, 2.3. And it's given that the distance is 250 here and 25 millimeter here and we need this distance. Isn't it? Okay, because the pressure here is the same with the pressure here. So the distance here is simply 250 plus 25. So that is 275. Okay, and the fluid is the red fluid which is 1600 kilogram per meter cube in density. But the thing is, it goes 
upward, isn't it? So the symbol will be minus rho of fluid number 1, which is 1600 kilogram per meter cube, times G times 0 0.275. Okay, and then let's continue our journey to the right. Okay, and then it goes up. Okay, but as you notice, the specific gravity is zero, meaning that the density is zero. So it goes up. So this should be minus. Okay. And I think I've made some mistake when I draw this. Okay. Let me correct this if I can. So this should be further down. Okay. Because I need this to be at the same level. Okay. This should be at the same level. Right. So let me repair this a little bit. And this is orange and it goes here right and 150 millimeter is actually from here to here this is 150 millimeter okay and I think that is all all right so to count to account for air so now we have minus because it goes up, right? So rho of A times G times 0 0.15. Okay, so that is taking into account the air portion of this manometer. And next, let's continue our journey until we reach 5. So now we go down. When we go down, we need to use the symbol plus. Okay, now this is rho of oil times g times 0 0.15 okay and this all of this equation now is equal to p5 if you notice the symbol here we go down and then minus means we go up we go up again and then we go down that's why it's positive right so now remember that we are looking for p1 minus p5 so p1 minus p5 is simply by rearranging this equation, so P1 minus P5 is equal to, this is minus rho water, G0.25 plus rho 1G, 0.275. Now, rho A is 0, right? So, I'm just going to ignore this equation. So, now this is minus rho oil, G 0 0.15 okay let's take g out so g is 9.81 so this is minus 1000 times 0 0.25 plus row 1 is 1600 0 0.275 minus row oil is 0 0.9 meaning this is 900 times 0 0.15 Okay, now this is 9.81 times, let's expand this, so this is minus 1000 times 0 0.25 plus 1600 times 0 0.275 minus 900 times 0 0.15 equal to 55. This is equal to times 9.81, 539.55. Pascal. Okay, everyone, that is how you find the pressure difference between 0.1 and 0.5. Okay, so select your site. In our example, we choose site number one. Okay, so just follow the path here. It goes down, so the symbol is positive. Then it goes up, symbol is negative. And then it goes up again, symbol is still negative. And then it goes down symbol is positive and the equation is always rho times g times h okay g stays the same 9.81 but rho you must be careful rho must be the density of the fluid that you are considering and then h is the distance of the fluid that you are considering okay and then simply create this equation and then rearrange again to find out what is p1 minus p5 and finally you get the answer okay so that's it for our manometer example so do this again and again until you are very familiar with the concept of manometer i'll talk to you soon bye